last week with uh, gravity. We took a hollow planet as our example one, then we took a planet with uniform mass density, then we took a planet with non-uniform mass density, and we took the Earth as an example of that, so we could find the behavior of that. Uh, so let's say example one, a hollow planet. What is the potential energy inside? Okay, so if you're standing right here, and I want to go to a certain point here, a certain distance, r, let's say this is r, the radius of the planet. Uh, big R is going to be the radius of the planet. So we're going to do, again, it's very similar to what we did with uh, uh, electrical potential. We're going to integrate from here to here uh, u, uh, u of uh, r minus u of little r is equal to negative the integral of the force of gravity times uh, dr. Oh, no, sorry, uh, r, then we're going to integrate from r to little r to big r. Very, very similar with electrical uh, case in chapter 25. So uh, then we're gonna, what we're going to use is what is the force of gravity inside of a hollow planet? Okay, and last week, if you remember, earlier we showed that the force of gravity was zero. Okay. So this one is zero. Which means u of r is equal to u of little r. And then that's it. So therefore, uh, the potential energy inside of a planet, inside of a hollow planet, stays the same as the potential energy at the surface of the planet. So it looks like the, this case right here. Potential energy stays the same, then it goes here like that. So what does that physically mean? Well, if, if you have a certain potential energy here of, let's say, a negative 100 joules, that's your binding energy. And if you go over here, for a negative 100 joules, then if you go to the center, you're a negative 100 joules. No matter where you go, you're still negative 100 joules. So you're just basically going to be floating around. You're not attracted. Uh, so if a hollow planet were all of a sudden to open up and you go inside of it, and uh, you would just basically float. Your potential energy is uniform. So it's kind of like being in outer space where you're going around the Earth. And you have a constant potential energy, and you feel weightless. So this is uh, similar to that. But the difference is the force of gravity on you is also zero here. The force of gravity is zero. So you're actually weightless. Whereas a person in a satellite motion, they're not weightless. There's still gravity on them. But they feel weightless because there's no normal force on them. So they're not in contact with the surface, that the, the spacecraft that they're sitting in. So you'll see that later on when I do satellite motion. Here, the actual force of gravity on you is zero, and the potential energy is constant. So you're just, you're just float around, basically. Okay, now let's do 